Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Chalms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Iron Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Kilabati264, Justin Rice, MD7408, The Hellraiser, Conan876, Pietri, Belco, Jellybeams, UK's Reaper, Crabians, Real Furious, Ramsey, Nathan V, and Audigasms. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild West Mod. Ooh, I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. Um, <laughs> welcome back to more Wild West Mod. I want to see if I can't get some more eggs doing this way. But I need to be careful because, uh, yeah, at the end of last episode, my horse actually managed to almost run away from me. Especially since it took a hill and it went like the opposite direction. It seems it takes a while for the horse to stop anyway. So <laughs> when you jump off, you have to make sure there's no lake or anything close by because you will not be able to make it in time. Um, I want to quickly go see what this drop over here entails, uh, what it has for us. And then we need to start doing some quests. Now that we finally have double rewards from doing quests, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get way more done as well. I need all these birds' nests. I want more um, uh, bacon and eggs, but we can make chicken coops. I wonder, actually. Yeah, they don't require any eggs to make chicken coops. So as long as we can just go and make ourselves some, uh, we just need more stone. So I think instead of going uh, now for all these uh, these eggs of here, what I'm going to do is... We're going to do those quests after I ga grab this drop. And then we have to just see if we can't get as much cobble and stone and stuff as possible. It's easy enough to just grab some bird's nest uh, over here, guys. But the horse keeps running away. And stopping and starting the horse is a massive pain. Like, literally, if you hit stop with this horse, it just keeps going sometimes. Come on. Come on, horsey. Come on, horsey. Ooh. Is that airdrop on top of that POI over there? I hope not. What is this POI? Stop, 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 stop. There you go. Not gonna slide or anything, right? Okay, let's just keep our shotgun reloaded just in case because this looks really, really dangerous. Hello. And there's a snake inside. You have to be careful of ferals, especially, but at least now that we have a shotgun, we don't have to be too careful of the ferals anymore. Let's put the right glasses on and just quickly grab this loot. Okay, only food. Oh, well, that's a food bundle. We might be lucky and get ourselves like 10 uh, bacon and eggs or something. Why does this feel like it's going to cave in or something? Oh, that's why. Because there is actually a downstairs. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's just quickly check this out. This is cool. It's not every day they come across one of these um, new or extra cool uh, Wild West buildings. Oh, yeah. I knew it. 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 Shotgun time. Oh, no. Shotgun time. I knew. I even said it's going to cave in. And then I have go and step on the floor and then it cave in. i to be careful now. What is down here? Where does that lead to, though? That looks like a different... Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. So this caves in. There's not really much down there. I thought it's going to be a lot down there. Are you the dude from before or are you a new one? Okay, it's just, it seems it's just this middle floor here. I thought it's going to be way more downstairs. That's why I was so confused just now. I heard that other zombie from upstairs and I thought, oh, there's, a, there's more rooms. Nope. Okie dokie. So now we just have to go. Uh, put on our other glasses. Yep, they're on. And let's go. It's actually a little bit disappointing. I thought it's going to be a lot more to that place. I mean, you do want to check out all these cool new PIs anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're going to go check them out anyways. But yeah, that could have had so much more stuff in it. Ooh, what's that building to the right? That looks like a brick building. No, 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 no. What the hell's wrong with your horse? The steering in this thing is really, really bad. What is this? Liberty Bank. Oh, you just know this place is going to be tough. And all of that's concrete, right? It looks concrete. Guys, let's go for a robbery. I know we have to do the quest. We're going to have to get those double rewards. But I feel like doing committing a robbery right now. We have to make sure we dump everything over here that we're not going to be using. Yes, look at that. That's going to fill us up really nicely with the food. So it was super worth it going for those. But yeah, I'll, I feel like we're just quickly robbing a bank over here. Where's the dogs and the vultures and stuff? Is this iron or is this... Oh, 10,000. Okay, this is steel. Oh, hello, soldier. Dude. Yeah, down here. Oh, come on.
Where are you? Wait, wait, wait. Where did you guys come from just now? I think they were in the ridge of here because I didn't see them earlier. So you have to be careful because, like I said, there are those uh, Undertakers on the map. And they're also the Hammer Spammer, dude. All of them are super, super, super dangerous. You want to be careful of them. See, I think they were over here on the corner. That's where they fell down from the ledge of here. Please, this place has such potential. Please, someone's going to be awesome inside. Even if it's super dangerous, I don't care. Give me some fun. It's locked, locked, locked. Do you fall in somewhere, or how are you supposed to get inside of here? Hello, my lady. Huh. I think you're supposed to fall in somewhere because I don't see a door. Those front doors are all locked. Nope. Okay, so it might just be... Wait, what? I feel like it has something to do with the fact that this one's not locked. <laughs> Imagine that that is a way to get inside of here. Damn, how long does it... Uh, it's going to take forever to break through here. If you had some TNT, we could just break through. I'm guessing there is a door that I'm missing right now. Come on, break through from the inside, please. I do have some... I think I have some TNT at the base. If I could use that right now to get inside of here. Oh, I have some breaching rounds. That'd be awesome. If we have breaching rounds, we could just load it onto the shotgun and then open up that way. Should probably check the trader next time and see if he actually has some. He might actually do. There has to be another way in here. I'm hoping... Oh, I'm hoping... If this is double reinforced, this might have 21,000 HP. So even if I take the first level off, it might not open up. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. It only has 2.5 per level. That might actually save us some time this time. Uh, drink water. It's gonna give us insane stamina regen as well with the coffee. You feel like crushing your enemies. It is the mega crush. Come on, man. Come on. I swear, there's another locked door in there and I was supposed to go the other way around something. That's gonna suck. If there's more locked doors inside of here, we're just going to give up. <laughs> I do want to get all the uh, the safes and stuff over here, though. I have this feeling there's going to be a ton of cops and stuff inside, too. Oh, nice. Finally, there's a zombie inside. Yeah, there you go. Don't you dare glitch to the door. Hit the door. Come on. Just before we open up the door, all we have to do is throw a Molotov over here. See, if this is Alpha 21, you'd be able to crawl through the door already. So these zombies would have been on top of us already. And now we just do this. Is there really no other way to make it inside of here? Perhaps one of the bars... Oh, hello, she's feral. Perhaps one of the bars um, has broken some and you can actually just jump through the roof or something. Through the windows. You see how there's bars in front of all the windows? That might be the other way in. Okay, so yeah, there's more doors. If I could just hopefully get all of the zombies inside to, to wake up and come help me over here. Oh wait, there's a switch. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I might be able to open up those doors with that switch. Please tell me that's going to be the case. If I do this... Nice, 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 nice. Have to be careful just in case these dudes are feral. It's very likely for them to be feral, but not all of them are going to be feral. That leg is in the way now, so I might just hit the leg instead of the body. Crawler behind me! Oh, he just fell from the top of it. That's so messed up. He literally fell from this thing over here. There's another one up there. It's a good thing I just uh, saw this one, otherwise I would have missed that one. Come on. Jump up. Okay, we need to be careful of dogs and cops. Because, I mean, this is a bank, so... You'd think there'd be some heavy-duty security over here. Those are locked, so yeah, I think um, we're supposed to go all the way around now. Hopefully we can get through all the doors using switches and stuff, otherwise there is no other way through. If this was Darkness Falls, you can either make a one-by-one -one hole to crawl through, or you can unlock the doors themselves. 
It seems this is how you're supposed to do it. Hello, 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 hello. You're supposed to reach through, but how, how are you supposed to get the first one, though? That's really confusing right now. How were you supposed to get through the first door in the first place? Because as far as I could see, there was no switch. Did I perhaps miss a hole or something I could have reached through to open up the door? Come on, give me some good stuff. Before we open that, we do this. And then we put this back just before we continue. It's a shame that a door that you've already opened, you can't close again. Crap. Yep, 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 I heard you. I was kind of hoping it was a little bit further away. <laughs> but if I didn't cancel that lockpick just now, um, yeah, she might have been able to hit me just now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. See, this is why I prefer the manual lockpicking. This automatic one can sometimes just inst- like, you just click it, yep. Even faster than that can insta-fail. And it can get to 1.1 and then start all the way over at 4 seconds again. There needs to be a skill that you can enable that if your lockpick does break, it keeps going from that same position that it broke at. That'd be awesome. I think more and more people would actually go for lockpicks and stuff if they could do that. And be careful of any dogs and stuff. There's a little bit of a lip over here, so it could easily be a uh, creeper, uh, a crawler. Creeper. <laughs> it could easily be a cr uh, crawling zombie up there, but it doesn't seem to be the case this time around. Save's already done. We have to block that one. Okay. See, if a, if a dog horde or a bison horde comes through here now, we're screwed. We might be lucky enough. Eh, yeah, the roof is long enough. We could go and we could place a, a, a ladder or two against the wall and then just jump up against the ladder. But you're still going to have to try and kill those things before you can escape. Need better stuff, man. Come on. Come on. Be careful of any dogs in here. That's a cop. That's a cop over there. Okay. So what I could do, uh, I'm going to try and loot this first. I'm going to shoot that cop in the face with, a, with the arrow first. If it does kill him, it kills him. If not, we're going to swap to the shotgun. Same with the other one. Ooh, is this the prison? This actually does look like the prison over here. Nice. See, if we had a wandering horde or a dog horde now, all we'd have to do is just jump over here. Um, well, it's a bison horde as well, so I don't know how high they can climb. But as long as you can get up there and you can just squeeze up close to the roof, you should be safe. Although you're going to have to really hug that roof to make sure they can't hit you from down below. Sometimes the dogs and, uh, and the other animals can climb a ladder that's two blocks off the ground. I think it's a, it's a bug. It's not supposed to be that way. Ooh, nice. It's not supposed to be that way, but there is a bug that allows them to do that. Where's the other... There's supposed to be another key card thingy over here. Oh, what's this? Okay, yeah, where's the other... Oh. Huh. I don't see any other switch or anything over here. Already flicked that one. Did I miss a switch now? It uh, shows... Okay, there's a ladder. Oh, there's a staircase going down. I have to break through this now. Damn, but there, it seems to be over this side of your... Oh, we came through over there. We came from that side. Oh, there you go. Okay. I, I knew there was supposed to be another key card. No, that was dumb because now I open that up. Okay, and this is how much HP? 10,000. 10,000. It's going to be better just to go and... Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I just realized that since that uh, table over there had one, this one should also have one. I just have to be so careful right now. I like doing this. And turn this light off. You just know there's supposed to be dogs and stuff down here. This is not a clear quest, so we don't even know where all the dogs and stuff are. Yeah, there's a soldier over there next to the box. Uh, the soldier is closest to us. That's a soldier, and that's a hazmat over there. We should be able to get safety if we do this. But this dude over here is going to be a pain to hit. He 
Did she just jump out the wall? She just jumped out the wall. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need to be careful. That means there's more fake walls. I still hear sleeping, so there's uh, either a zombie sleeping over there or there's more fake walls on this side. You should be able to see the um, the corner of it quite easily. That was the only reason I was able to see that there, there was a thing over here now is because you can actually see the texture stick out. If you hug the wall, there should be a line, a clear line that shows you, okay, this is movable. That's a soldier over there. That lady we can kill first. And then, ooh, there's a door at the back of here as well. How big is this? I just woke something up, but I don't know what I woke up. You just know they're gonna go through there as well. Okay, let me just jump down. We should be able to jump back up here. But any dogs or whatever can follow us too. You know there's a zombie upstairs and there's a zombie down here. There's a door back there as well. I want all the stone over here too. So you can flick these switches over here. These switches do something, but what do they do? There's a hidden... Okay, 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 let's see. Oh, there's something hidden back here. See how long it takes to uh, use that one, but if you use this one... Two shots. And it's not as slow. It's not that slow. It feels like it could be faster, but it's not that slow. Okay, now there should be something up here. Oops. Nope. We're just gonna grab the resources as we go through this place anyways. I'm feeling like that switch over there is going to open this. Oh, hello. There's two here though. What, what opens what? That's the scary part right now. There's a switch over here. And there was a switch behind it seems. And then this one over here. Okay, so that was the case. Those two switches were for those, these doors over here. We can at least do that just so we can get back if we really need to. Remember, you cannot close doors that you just opened up already. So this place might be filled with like a lot of no-nos, like, oh crap. But uh, we won't be able to run away. I might actually be able to jump on top of this stuff. As long as there's no feral, we're fine. We do have the shotgun locked and loaded in case there is a feral. Ooh, nice. Uh, if there was a hidden stash back there, I might destroy this now, but I need to kill these soldiers. That is feral. All we have to do is shoot down the hallway. You can even shoot from the, ch uh, from the hip like this and it hits all the zombies. That dude's feral. You can see his eyes. Whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy. Okay, yeah, this bank was well protected, I can tell you that much. Oh, there were more doors at the side of here. That's what opened up. I didn't see there was a door at the back over there too. Or think, oh no, I think I actually saw the one, but I didn't see the other one. Now, might to be careful. We just fired shots, but there might still be some zombies back here. Oh. Please, no zombies falling from the roof or anything like that. Please and thank you all together. <laughs> I actually wanted to do the tier 1 quest because we're going to double rewards. We might still be able to do it anyways. But yeah, this thing was way more worth it. Way more tempting. Uh, scrap, scrap, scrap. We could sell the pieces. Uh, anything that is resource rated, we can scrap as well. We can drink that one. Eat this one. Oh, we actually need the food more than we need the drink. And then it seems we have kept can over there. This place is actually really filled with a ton of stuff. You have to be careful because not remember, not always do the zombies wake up. You think, oh, okay, the zombie will reface zombies, they're safe. Sometimes there are sleepers that are really, really dumb. Yep, like that. 
Like that. Oh, come. See, I knew that I had to be careful because not always the zombies wake up, and then voila, I was right. That could have been really bad, especially if I had to reload just now. That would have been bad. My gun only had a one shot or something left. Inside of here. Oh, this leads back up. There's a safe back there. Can I reach it? Nope, we have to destroy this. I'm hoping we get some really good loot from this thing. The whole point of robbing this bank was to get a ton of loot. But so far we've gotten a few weapon pieces, some ammo, and that's about it. Come on. It, it might also be my game stage. My, my level is just too low. So my loot stage is, uh, is too low. But I'm really hoping we can get some really good loot soon as well. Okay, now we go for this one, this one. Put that back on, scrap. I need to make space. We have so many uh, nails at the base already. We don't need this for now. Don't need any glass, don't need any feathers. I know that we have to. Ha we have a ton of stuff we still have to grab, so I can't afford to just grab any nonsense right now. I think all we still have to loot in this place is now the final stash. You never know what you're going to get in the trash as well, so I'm picking that up too. I think I just also um, scrapped some nails, now I just picked up some more nails. Yeah, this one we can drink. We have to open up these boxes over here, there's also another gap over here in the wall. See, if this thing can two-shot, then I'll be able to use it as like an axe and a weapon. But at the moment it can only one-shot. Or I mean, it can only do it three times. This one over here does it two times, almost once if you do a power attack. And the tomahawk is just slightly, slightly too slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to see where the, uh, where the other thing leads. Okay, now the problem is we are super, super encumbered. We could just go drop more stuff on our, on our um, feed upstairs. But you guys know me, I want to grab as much as possible. Now that I've already opened up the door, there might be a, a way for the zombies to get down here to me, so I need to be careful. Come on. I want to see if there's another way into this place as well, because they should... I struggle. I had to open up the door the manual way. But there might be another way to actually get inside of here. Okay, we don't need so many... so few bones. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Okay. Uh, I want to arrange that, but we do have enough uh, forged iron anyways at the base, so we don't have to worry too much. This leads... oh crap. Okay, did not know there's more to this place. I just jumped up here not knowing oh, what to expect. And yeah, now I'm going to have to go drop some stuff on my bike because we are just way too encumbered. I said bike, but I need my steed. My trusty, trusty steed. Come on. Before I loot you, let's go drop this in the bike. If you guys, if guys, if I say bike, you know that I mean just my trusty steed over here. I mean, he is technically a vehicle. And now there's a soldier coming in closer. Soldier, just stay there, please. I'm just gonna quickly grab my stuff and then be on my way. Yeah, look at that. Way, way more than enough space. So it's through here. I could just place another frame over here for now, and that should stop them. No, but they're still gonna be able to jump in. Unless I do. No, I can't. Oh, now that a corpse gone, now we can. I need to be careful just in case a zombie managed to actually make it downstairs and followed me down. Because then they're going to come up through the hole here before I even realize what's going on. Come on, give me some schematics we don't know yet. That does sound like a lot of zombies right now, so I need to be careful that that's not a wandering horde. That sounds like a ton of footsteps. That might actually be a wandering horde right now. And they stutter. Okay, so wandering horde, um, I'm hoping... Yeah, we do have the shotgun in case we really get close. If we hear wood break, we know that they're in the same room as us. I can just throw one Molotov at these and then we'll be able to burn the whole wandering horde, but still, we need to be careful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, nice. Do that, make sure we put our XP glasses back on. Oh, a lot of stutter right now. Hello, hello. We, we could just use a Molotov. Oh, that's a feral in there. We could just use our Molotov, but all we have to do is shoot in a straight line. As long as the zombies are standing behind each other, a shotgun's the best weapon. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Uh, shouldn't have reloaded just now. That was a bad call. Reloaded at the worst possible time. Ma, don't you bloody... Oh, wow. Wow. The amount of times I just missed was insane. Oh, crap. Reload, reload, reload. I saw this dude earlier, but I didn't think he was actually feral. When I grabbed my horse just now, I was like, oh, a soldier. Turns out he was part of the Wandering Horde. Damn. Okay, now we have robbed a bank. <laughs> That was actually kind of cool. This building itself really cool. I just want to know how do you get in there in the first place? Um, I think there was a there was probably a proper way to go through that place, but I did not see a door. So who knows? Perhaps you had to just these break to the first door, and then the rest you just had to go and lock it or uh, flip the switches for. Okay, we won't be able to do that quest right now. Oh, I haven't brought my bedroll over yet. So I don't know where my base is. I'm going to have to probably just quickly place a bedroll down so I know where I am. And then we should probably also go back and just grab all our stuff. Because I have still I still have my one bedroll and my forge with a few things in. And I think there might be a box or two still of, of like food and stuff left over there. So if I can go grab all my stuff and then bring it over, then everything is over and we've finally moved. I'm actually really glad we're in the desert over here now, guys. Because of most of my games, I just stick in the forest way too long. And then it's a massive pain moving later, but since it's still kind of early, it's the only day 15, it was the perfect time to move to this biome. There are still two more more dangerous, more bi uh, two more, more dangerous biomes, the snow and then the wasteland. But for now, at least we are in a little more of a challenging wasteland than just the forest. So if you guys liked this episode, please like to share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time as we keep having fun and Wild West mod. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.